All right, be expanded piranha tooth bar mounted on a BL150 front end loader on a Branson 3515H tractor. And I'm putting this video out covering the actual dimensions of the front end loader because I couldn't find anything on YouTube covering that. There's, there's many YouTube videos covering the installation and actually the demonstration and use of the Piranha 2 bar. I haven't used this one yet, but I can only anticipate it's going to be great. But anyway, what I wanted to cover on this video, when you go in to purchase one of these, they're going to tell you to measure from inside of your front end loader to the distant end. When I measure mine, it was 61 and 3 quarter inches. I think it's actually 62 inches, but your tape measure bends a little bit because they tell you to go five inches deep to make that measurement. Uh, so I went ahead and ordered a 61 and a half inch tooth bar. That would give me an eighth of an inch clearance on both sides, probably plus a little bit more. Uh, but I did that out of precaution. Well, come to find out, B Expander takes precautions too, because when they manufacture a 61 and a half inch wide tooth bar they this bracket is set in from from bracket outside of this bracket and outside of the left side bracket is actually 61 and a quarter and the reason they do that is because some some buckets have a, uh, a you know a stress bulge right here and it so it will clear that uh, this one has a stress bulge but it's on the outside so anyway if i'd have known that i would have ordered a 62 inch piranha tooth bar for this particular bl150 front end loader that's what i would have done it's just my opinion but it doesn't matter i called and i spoke to one of the engineers there uh, they intend for this bracket uh, to bend and be malleable that's exactly what they intend matter of fact i suggested on the phone that i could go buy some extra washers and um you know support you know fill this gap they recommend i didn't even do that that they designed this for that bracket to bend and conform with the bucket and it did so i guess i made a mountain out of a molehill and it's fine as solid as a rock i can't wait to use it i will recommend you have a cut at least one good c clamp on hand one like this <laughs> a nice one okay this one's eight inches okay um Installation was quick. You can watch another uh, video on YouTube for that. I would recommend purchasing the step drill bit when you order this. They'll give you that option. If you don't have one, you'll need a three-quarter inch uh, step drill bit. And I ordered, I, I went ahead and included that. I didn't want to go down to the hardware store and, and buy a drill bit. So easy insulation once i got my tools together i put this on in 20 minutes or less nothing to it oh one more thing on the bransons this bracket they make this a little bit longer they extend it past this concave so they make this a little bit longer to accommodate that is what i was told which makes sense you would not want that you would not want this mounting hole falling here so all right other than that it's a great tractor i've had it almost two years i've done a lot of land clearing with it bush hogging and i've got a box blade on it right now i do i do pull a six foot bush hog with this tighten and I pull a six foot box blade 
no problem no problem whatsoever i just put a um, quick hitch on here the spico cat one ready all i can say is i had to make no i didn't have to make any adjustments i'm back right up to this blade here box blade lifted up right here and the two bottoms just they just drop right in i am stoked about the quick edge now if i can just get a some more hydraulics and a grapple along here i think i'll be set and i would like to have a backhoe <laughs> Other than that, it's a nice tractor. I have no complaints. It's, it's, it's ran perfectly. All right. Over and out.